All right, welcome back to Work Autonomy. So this video is going to be dedicated for sales positions. I've taken a look at the post and trying to make sure that I'm not um, excluding any interest out there of people's uh, desire to work in sales. I do see that there's a few people that are potentially interested and it's actually easier for me to create a video <laughs> instead of a post. Um, so I just went ahead and uh, created this video just for people that are interested in sales. Um, so sales is a really good job. It don't sleep on it. Um, it has the potential of being lucrative and you don't always have to be the, you know, the typical um, type A aggressive um, extrovert that, you know, we identify as working in sales. You don't have to be that at all. You just have to be consistent and have to stay motivated. Um, you have to be organized and just be ready to do some follow-ups. Um, and it's more about providing a solution to a company. So if you're able to identify a company that that definitely needs, you know, a solution from what your company is offering, then you're going to make a sell, regardless if it's, you know, perfect pitch, perfect, you know, sales format, perfect, whatever. Um, if the company is looking for the solution that you're offering, then more than likely you'll be able to go ahead and persuade them to do business with your organization. So just keep that in mind. It doesn't have to be this, you know, I have to persuade and do negotiation. I mean, that is a part of it as well too, but I don't think it's as bad as most people think it is. So if you're new to sales or interested in sales, definitely take a look into it because it is potentially a very lucrative position. Um, most sales position starts at a, you know, at a base salary, and then you also get commission on top of that. So um, that's no different with uh, uh, beyond pricing, and we'll get further into that. Um, but we're going to talk about three sales positions that are currently hiring right now that you might be interested in attempting. Again, if you are trying to transition from on-site to remote and you feel like sales is your your line of interest, then take a look into these companies. And all the links for the roles will be in the description box below for you if you're interested in applying. So the first one we're going to talk about is with Beyond. Um, they used to go by Beyond Pricing, but now they're called Beyond. Um, and they are a revenue management solution for short-term rental managers and owners to get, grow, and keep revenue. So um, primarily, you know, Airbnbs, Verbos, um, they do partner and make sure that people are able to maximize as much money as they can from short-term rental rentals. And uh, Beyond has a business development representative position that's available. It is available in the U.S., but they also hire in EMEA, which is Europe, Middle East, Africa. So if you're outside of the United States in one of those uh, country slash continents, uh, definitely take a look into Beyond's website and um, yeah, apply if you're interested. So as a business development representative with Beyond, what you'll do is uh, you will be sourcing, reaching out to and qualifying leads to convey Beyond's value proposition, converting qualified leads into scheduled product demos for the account executive team, collaborating cross-functionally to share and learn from best practices, quota attainment based on qualified leads and activity. And what they're looking for is someone who has demonstrated history of resilience, curiosity, optimism, and a solutions-oriented mentality, exceptional organizational time management and written verbal communication skills, a track record of overachieving against defined metrics, confidence in picking up the phone and smoothly conversing with prospects, a demonstrated ability to understand and apply effective outbound prospecting strategies and techniques, a data-oriented approach with an aptitude for large data sets and numbers, a desire to win, doesn't believe in settling and finds motivation in temporary setbacks, bonus points for experience with Salesforce and sales automation and engagement platform and or familiar with property management systems and or the vacation rental market. Um, so not really um, any stringent requirements, just really, you know, um, a good attitude is usually what they're looking for. Even if you don't have a track record for overachieving against defined me metrics, it's something that you can always, you know, 
learn as you as you grow with the company so they do give some expectations of what the application process will look like so you have an idea of how that will come come to be um, they also go into their values company values and then the benefits that they offer they do offer stock options unlimited PTO work from home office stipend private health insurance parental leave wellness programs a learning and development stipend and more and when I checked on glassdoor.com um, the salary is at 69,000 to 75,000 now with this I'm not a hundred percent sure if that is with you know including your commission or if that is base but um, either way it's really good salary because this is uh, business development reps or sales development reps are entry-level sales positions um, so to start off at this rate either or um, is pretty good so this is with beyond um, their business development representative starting rate of approximately about 69,000 to 75,000 all right next up we have a job with a company called planet planet is a company that actually um, designs builds and operates the largest constellation of imaging satellites in history which is pretty cool um, and right now they are looking for a sales development rep uh, to be part of their team uh, the cool thing about planet is that they do hire worldwide so i just have the u.s uh, job description pulled up but if you actually go on to their career section um, they do have the sales development representative role um, in Germany um, and another country and in Europe and I apologize I forgot so and um, you can go on to their website and take a look but um, they do have a sales development rep position that is available and I am going over the US based role um, so what you'll do in this particular sales development rep role is you'll own a territory that you will nurture and develop high quality accounts and leads for your account executives contributing directly to the top line level growth of planet. Um, collaborate with your dedicated account executive and field marketer to drive a world-class engagement experience with strategic sequences, impactful messaging, and multi-threading. Understand the planet product ecosystem and key verticals to provide a high-level introduction and seamless handoff to the account executive. Utilize business and industry knowledge to research accounts, i.e. via Zoom Info, 10K industry publications, identify key stakeholders, generate interest, create, identify compelling events, and develop account plans. And what you'll bring is coachable and gritty with a deep desire to learn the business and crush monthly targets. Experience prospecting a SaaS product or service to F2000 global and or government accounts. A demonstrated ability to learn complex topics and weave great stories into effective messaging and build outcomes for targeted campaigns. Personable with rapport, building abilities, and de demonstrated discretion to work with confidential information. Strong written communication, phone presentation, and interpersonal skills. Proactive, independent thinker with a high energy, positive attitude. Um, there are some key points that they do like that will make you stand out. Domain expertise in geo-int, satellite imaging or remote imaging. Uh, previous vertical experience in agriculture, energy, state, and local governments or universities a plus. Experience prospecting or selling into enterprise or government accounts. Understanding and experience with MedPIC, command of the message and or science of sales development methodologies a plus. Knowledge of Salesforce, LinkedIn, Sales Navigator, Zoom Info, Groove, and email automation tools. Um, some of the benefits that are inclusive with working at Planet is comprehensive health plan, wellness programs, and on-site massages in specific offices. If you are doing a hybrid or if you're going into the office, you don't have to be. Um, flexible time off, recognition programs, community benefits, learning and tuition reimbursement, parental leave, off-sites, and happy hour, volunteering benefits. And yeah, they also provide some information regarding their mission statement, what they're about. And when I checked here, for the compensation um, keep in mind this is for Colorado applicants so um, it gives you an idea of what the salary rate will be even though you might not be in Colorado but it's a range of sixty thousand three hundred to hundred and twenty two thousand dollars so I mean you can gauge how much you would probably make um, even if you're not in Colorado but that's pretty cool it says that this role is eligible for bonus commission and equity so um, I'm not sure if that compensation ban is just base salary or if that 
that is inclusive with commission, but either way, it's a pretty good um, compensation package. So this again is with a company called Planet and they're looking for a sales development rep. Um, this is not just in the US, they do hire outside um, in some European countries, so check them out. All right, and lastly, we have a job with a company called Motive. And Motive is a company that builds technology to improve the safety, productivity, and profitability of businesses that power the physical economy. And right now, they are hiring a sales development rep uh, for their mid-market department. Um, they do hire in the U.S., but they also hire heavily in Pakistan. Um, I didn't see any sales positions in Pakistan, but they have other uh, positions that they're hiring for in Pakistan. So if you're in Pakistan, check out their website. Um, they do have um, a good amount of roles uh, available within your country. Um, but yeah, as a sales development rep, what you'll do is you will contact prospective clients through cold calls and emails, qualify accounts prospects based on set criteria, identify prospects needs, challenges, and suggest appropriate product services, set up meeting calls between prospective clients and account executives, reschedule follow-up with prospects if meetings do not occur. So this is pretty much the standard sales development role um, job responsibilities. This is nothing outside of the norm. This is pretty much straightforward of what a sales development rep for most companies is what you'll do. Um, and what they're looking for is someone with a strong work ethic and drive, ability to handle rejection and persevere, strong communication skills, sales force experience is a plus, it's not required. Previous cold calling experience is also a plus and not required. Coach ability and a team focused mindset, ability to work in a remote setting. So straightforward, there's no really hard requirements, no previous, not really required previous experience. It is a plus if you do have some, but if not, then that's cool. And again, this is a good entry level position if you're trying to get your foot in the door um, and working with a remote company, one, and then also in sales, too. Um, so some of the benefits that they offer, I'm just going to scroll down here. Um, you see the application process is very straightforward, um, but their benefits they offer down here on the bottom right. Um, so they do offer dental, vision, health, life insurance, PTO vacation policy, paid holidays, maternity, paternity leave, 401k retirement plan, performance bonus, um, employee stock purchase plan, um, work from home policy, unique office space, free food, company social outing. So that's just a few of their benefits that they are um, including with the role. And when I checked on Glassdoor for their sales development rep, it's at a starting rate of $70,000. Um, I believe that is base. So again, usually with most, most sales roles, um, you get a base and then you also get your commission or your on-target earnings. Um, so oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. This was uh, the total compensation. So I think the base was at 45000 And then with um, your on-target earnings and commission, um, it can go up to $70,000. So I want to be very clear about that so you're not... Um, uh, misled in any ways. I don't want to provide incorrect information. So when I did go on to their site, um, it did show 45000 as the base and then the commission bumped it up to $70,000. So that's um, a, a decent salary for a sales development rep, especially if you don't have any prior experience and you'll be learning on the job as you go. So these are a few sales development rep or business development representative positions I was able to find that are currently hiring right now. Um, a good portion of them are available in the US and also in MIA. Um, with the exception of this company, um, Motive does have other positions outside of the United States, um, but not for their sales positions. All of those are in the US. But that's all I have for you guys at this time. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe to get notified when I post new job opportunities. But until next time, I'll see you all in the next videos. Take care.